Australia again reported record COVID cases today with the outbreak set to continue getting worse until at least next week, despite strict local lockdown measures. The country's daily cases topped 1,900 for the first time in the pandemic on Friday as the outbreak, fueled by the highly infectious Delta variant, continued to gain ground in lockdown Sydney and Melbourne, its largest cities. Australia is in the grip of a third wave of infections with the Delta outbreak forcing officials to ditch their COVID-0 strategy in favour of suppressing the virus. They now aim to begin easing tough restrictions after reaching a higher proportion of the population with double-dose vaccinations. New South Wales, NSW, the epicenter of the country's worst outbreak, reported 1,542 new daily local cases, topping the previous high of 1,533 hit last week. Nine new deaths were registered. So far this trajectory is what has been predicted, NSW Premier Gladys Berry Jiglian told a media briefing in Sydney, the state capital, where cases are expected to hit a peak in the next week. Barry Jiglian said the daily COVID-19 media briefing would be scrapped from Monday and updates would be detailed in an online video, an approach previously used when case numbers were low. Rising cases in Sydney have increased the load for ambulance staff, with the number of COVID-19 patients transported doubling in the last two weeks to total almost 6,000, officials said. Some 1,156 people are hospitalized in the state, with 207 in intensive care, 89 of whom require ventilation. Despite cases lingering near record levels, NSW authorities on Thursday said Sydney's businesses could reopen once 70% of the state's adult population is fully vaccinated, a target due to be reached around the middle of October. So far, 76% of people above 16 in the state have had received at least one dose, while 44% have been fully vaccinated. Victoria State logged 334 new cases, its biggest rise for this year, and one death. Some restrictions in the capital Melbourne will be eased when 70% of the adult population has received at least one vaccine dose, expected around September 23. A four-stage national reopening plan unveiled by the federal government in July aims to relax several tough curbs once the country reaches a 70-80% to 80 immunization target from 40% now. However, some virus-free states have flagged they may delay easing curbs on interstate travel and other restrictions. Australia's total infection numbers stand at around 70,000 cases, including 1,076 deaths. Higher vaccinations have kept the death rate at 0.41% in the Delta outbreak, data shows, below previous outbreaks. Sydney's cafes, restaurants and pubs are set to reopen in the second half of October after months of strict lockdown, despite Prime Minister Scott Morrison's warning that higher case numbers will follow the easing of curbs. Leaders must hold their nerve, he said.
Authorities set Sydney bars and dairies, as well as gyms, across the city of 5 million people would be able to reopen at reduced capacity within days once New South Wales, NSW, reached a 70% double vaccination target. Stay-at-home orders for the fully vaccinated will be lifted on the Monday after the target is achieved, the officials said. Living with COVID means you have a cautious and staged reopening once you get to those high rates of vaccination in your adult population, Barry Jicklian said during a media briefing in Sydney. Under the plan, pubs and cafes in Sydney could reopen before schools, which will begin classes for younger aged groups from October 25. School reopening, date is fixed because we need to provide certainty and planning for school communities, but for adults, we have the capacity to be more flexible, she said. Barry Jicklian had initially pursued a COVID-0 strategy to quell an outbreak of the highly contagious Delta variant that began in mid-June, but has since shifted to focusing on increasing inoculation rates. About 43% of the population above 16 in the state, Australia's most populous, have been fully vaccinated, slightly higher than the national average of 40%. Sydney's staggered reopening plans bring some certainty for businesses, with lockdowns in Sydney and Melbourne, Australia's largest cities, threatening to push the 2 trillion Australian dollars. $1.47 trillion, economy into its second recession in as many years. Prime Minister Scott Morrison said on Thursday the reopening efforts of New South Wales aligned with the four-stage national plan unveiled in July that promised more freedoms once the country reaches 70 to 80 percent inoculation. The next stage will be hard, while C case numbers rise and that will be challenging, Morrison said in Canberra. But if you want to live with the virus you inevitably have to pass down that tunnel. Morrison urged state leaders to hold their nerve when they begin to live with the virus, although some virus-free states have hinted they may delay their reopening even after reaching higher vaccination coverage.